yeah, that was my that was basically my tournament report. If you want more detailed, uh, like I said, if you want more detailed input on why I played certain cards um, or why I didn't play certain cards, you can uh, you can check out the deck profile. I just I just quickly wanted to show you this just because as a segue to talk about something else, which it's I find it crazy that that I even need to uh, that I even need to uh, respond to this or even have to say this, but. Apparently, apparently there is people out there thinking that I threw the regional on purpose so that I have to, I have to, wait, what are they saying? What are they saying? They, I'm, I threw the regional on purpose so that people will think that I now think that Labyrinth is a bad deck so that people play less outs for it in their side deck at YCS London so that I can play the deck again and they don't play outs anymore. Now, I don't know, I don't know even know how to respond to this other than by saying like brother and sister in Christ. No, I just had a bad day. I just had a, I just had, all it takes is one bad day. Like, if I do well with the deck, everyone is like, or not everyone, uh, like, people are like, damn, he, he, he only played that deck to make the cards spike in price. He doesn't actually think it's good. And then I do badly with the deck, and they're like, yeah, yeah, he just wants us to think that the deck is bad. But in reality, it's actually like, you know, like, bro, nah, I just opened Lovely Labyrinth, like, freaking more than half of my games and got, like, evenly denkoed. And lightning, lightning storm, feather dustered, uh, whatever out the wazoo the entire day. I didn't draw engine in like half my games, brother. No, I just had a bad day. It happens. It happens. I, 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 I was planning to play sprite. Then on Friday, I didn't feel confident with it, so I switched last second to a different deck, and it didn't work out. That's all. That's all. That's all that happened. I promise. Like it's, it's so dumb. But I, I, to be fair, I don't think it's many people that actually believe this. I don't think there's many people that actually believe this, but uh, I just wanted to um, I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, I've been pretty open about this in in the past. I've been pretty open about this in the past uh, that I have I have no intention. Oh God! What I wanted to say is I've been pretty open about this in the past. I will never. I will never share false information. When I when there is something I don't want you I don't want to tell you guys because like maybe I find a deck that I I think is good or I find a certain tech that I think becomes significantly worse if people know about it. I will um I will tell you that there is certain things that I don't tell you about. You know what I mean? I've been open like this in the past. People have asked me, yo, what deck are you going to bring? And I'm like, even if I already knew, I will not tell you, right? Because I don't want everyone in the room at a YCS to know what I'm playing. Like, that would just be, that would just be dumb. But I still want to bring... Um, I, I still want to make the best possible content that I can. So, it, for me, that doesn't mean that I, that I... I will never put out false information. Like, I will never do that. I will just, like... If there's certain pieces of information that I can't give you, I will just tell you, hey, I can't, I can't tell you that, right? But I will not say, hey, I think this deck is good, when in reality, I think it's bad. Or I will never say, hey, this deck is bad, don't play it, when in reality, I just don't want people to respect it. That's, that is not how... That's not how it works. That is, that is never how it's going to work. Um... So as far as the reason why I played Labyrinth, the, the single only reason was Labyrinth in my mind was an option for next week. And I wanted to figure out whether it really was solid or not, with how, how it felt when playing it, because I had actually never played Labyrinth at a tournament before. I had only theorized the deck. I have seen it at tournaments. I've seen feature matches. I've seen deck profiles. I, I've played it like in, in, uh, like with friends and on, on stream, but I had never brought it to an actual tournament setting. And I wanted to just do that before the YCS to figure out how good it actually is. Now, as far as to what I think about the deck now, whether it's like whether I think it's completely terrible and I'm definitely not going to bring it, I I feel pretty bad about it. But that might just be biased because I just 
did so poorly with it. I do think the games that I lost were overall pretty unfortunate. Like, you know, the you have Judgment and Engine, and they have, like, evenly Denko plus full combo or whatever. Um, also, my Cash Tira opponents, I feel like, throughout the entire weekend drew, drew pretty insane. Like, I spent some time testing Cash Tira yesterday um, with friends again, and it was like, I didn't draw half as well as my opponents on that day. Like, I, I, I just, like... There was a solid portion of Cash Tira games where I just, like, bricked and didn't do anything. And, like, I didn't, and, like, no, none of my Cash Tira opponents, like, ever really bricked. They always went, like, you know, like, w went, like, crazy. Like, even if I had removal for one or two of the Cash Tiras, they had, like, another copy or they hard drew birth and whatever. Like, it was, it was a pretty tough experience, right? And maybe it's just a case of it do be like that sometimes. So, like, currently, would I play this build on the screen again? No. I do think there's a there's a couple things that I learned about the deck that I wasn't sure about because I had never played it. So I'm I might try to adjust the deck and maybe it's it's going to feel a little bit better, but overall currently I don't know if it's going to feel good enough even if I make some changes. So currently I don't think I'm going to play to play Labyrinth at the YCS and even if I end up playing it it's probably going to look very different from this. And this is 100% how I feel. The chances that I'm going to be willing to play Labyrinth again after this experience are pretty low unless, you know, unless I test it again and it, it completely blows my mind. But I don't think it will. Um, I'm very surprised you didn't play Trap Trick in the deck. I did feel like over the weekend Trap Trick would have been a solid card sometimes. I, d I didn't like the idea of being locked into only one more trap. But I think the more I, the more I think about it, I feel like Trap Trick is is valuable because you you don't have to use it first like if you have a couple other traps that are good you can just use those first and then your trap trick just always makes sure you have like the perfect last um the perfect last interruption and it also makes sure that you have like the perfect uh, like even if if you have enough interruption it can turn into one of the labyrinth traps so i think i think trap trick could have been a, a pretty solid uh, inclusion in the deck i agree but overall, it was just a mix of, it was a mix of, I had some struggles with consistency. Um, because there was a couple of games where they didn't even have like a, a Feather Duster, or I had the judgment for the Feather Duster, but then I couldn't play, so they would just run me over because I was at 4,000 life points. And they would like, yeah, go special unicorn. And I was like, there, okay, well, what am I going to do? Like, I have Compulse, I have another judgment. Am I going to judgment the unicorn? But then I'm immediately dead if they have another cashier. It was awkward. It was awkward. I um, I think the deck has some problems. This current list has a couple of problems. And I don't know if they are fixable. I don't know if they are fixable. I am genuinely not sure if I like this deck enough. It's still not a bad deck. And to be clear, I don't even know what else I would play. That is more of my problem right now. I'm not really happy with anything in the format right now, which doesn't mean that the format is terrible. I don't want to blame it on the format this early on. Like, I really don't want to. I don't want to sound like, um, uh, like, just like salty, oh, the format is so bad. I just think I haven't found it yet, you know? Can you define the problem you think it has? I think it has a couple of little problems that combined make a pretty big problem. Like, one issue of trap decks is they are relatively slow and, uh, and going second in general is a problem. It's only a small problem because it's not that bad with this deck. Like, it's actually okay, surprisingly. But it's a small problem sometimes. And then sometimes you have issues with them having, like, evenly Denko, Lightning Storm, Feather Duster. Which, if that was your only issue, I think that could easily be fixed by playing certain outs for those type of cards. Which I did, you know? Um... And then sometimes you have the problem of not seeing engine. Your deck actually needing a couple of engine cards to play because sometimes, like very often, uh, my, my Welcome Labyrinth or my Prosperity just got ashed. Like my hand was totally fine going first, the five cards with one Welcome Labyrinth trap, but if they have an ash, now all of a sudden my hand is like no engine anymore. And then I, I, I slowly die, right? And... Um, while I think all of these individual issues are probably solvable, I don't know if you can solve all of, the, all of them together because all of them together, they make up for a pretty big problem, right? Uh, I think that's what I underestimated going into the Cologne uh, regional. Like, um, I was like, yeah, I guess going second is kind of hard, but you have Evenly and, and Ash and it's, it's probably going to be fine. 
Um, and yeah, people have like, you know, heavy back row removal and blowout cards, but uh, you can side Solemn for it. It's probably okay with, with duality and prosperity and whatnot. Uh, and, uh, and and yeah, the deck is kind of inconsistent, but you know, I can just play three Arianas and with the pots, it's probably going to be fine. And it's like, I underestimated how these issues combine into one bigger problem. You know what I mean? Because like some games you lose because of that one issue, some because of the other, some because of the other. It's like, I think that is um, what I underestimated. And I don't know if it's fixable, but I, I guess you can try. So those are my honest thoughts on Labyrinth right now, in case anyone was questioning that. That is genuinely what I think after the weekend.